Hi everyone, I'm going to show you the absolute basics for 3D needle felting. So let's start with the core wool. This is what you'll use in the centre of all your projects um, because it's cheaper to buy the core wool than it is to use the coloured wool that will go on top. This one is a mixed breed core wool. Um, you can also get it as a sliver which means it's in a long rope so some people when they're starting off like to tie a knot in this which makes the inside firm um, it's easy to roll or you can wrap this one around armature for armature projects the top coat I'm going to use this carded Perindale it's a medium coarse wool it felts quite quickly and leaves a nice finish the needles that you will get Sometimes in the kits you will receive a small, medium and a large needle. You will have to start with the large needle and then move on to the medium and then the smallest one as your wall gets firm. But with the fuzzy wuzzy needles, they start from a 32G, which is usually where you would start with your project. And then as the wall firms up, you'll move up a needle until you add the top coat, usually to add the top coat I would use a 40G and then a 42 to smooth off. You will also, in starter kits, usually get these finger protectors, one for your thumb and one for your finger. I don't use these anymore or not very often um, because once you get quite confident that you're not going to stab yourself, you'll probably set them aside. A lot of the time when you receive a starter kit it will come with what's known as wool tops or wool roving this is where all the fibers run in the same direction like hair i wouldn't suggest using this for 3d projects because it does take a lot longer to felt so i would stick with the carded wool you will also see other felting tools available which do help to speed up the process uh, when you're making larger projects so this one for example holds eight needles and <clears throat> there's this one that holds three this one also holds three but i like to use this one with two um, and you'll see the wooden awls as well this helps to insert eyes when you're making animals and things like that so let's get started. I'm going to start with the 36G needle for this wool. I'm going to start by rolling up the core wool as tight as you can. And then just start stabbing into the core. When you start off stabbing your core wall, you need to make sure that you're going in straight and coming out straight. If you bend that needle at all, going in or coming out, it will snap into your project. The wall will go in whichever direction you point your needle. Just remember to keep turning your project as you go keep turning it over and then all of the wool that you're stabbing will be going into the center and it will keep the ball shape now this core wool felt pretty quickly so we won't need to do this for too long as i mentioned before this one is available on my website and it's the mixed breed core wool. Keep turning and it's already becoming quite firm. I would say you need the firmness of a ripe orange 
before adding the top coat. If you add the top coat too early, you will run the risk of your ball being misshapen. So that's getting quite firm now. I'm going to move up to the 38G. And you can see that that's just a little bit less aggressive. So it's smoothing out the surface more. Whereas the 36G is for firming. I think we're all ready for the top coat here. So let me give you a closer look. Give it a squeeze. And I'd say that was ready. So to add the top coat, as I said before, I'm going to use the 40G. And we're just going to lay out enough so that it covers the core wall without leaving any blank spots. Working all the way around. Again, keep turning your project so that it doesn't get misshapen. It's quite easy to lose the shape when you're making balls. And when you're going around, if you've got any excess that's going to go over itself, you can always pull that off. patch there so I'm going to add a little more I'm going to show you that now. So it is tacked on, however, it's not felted because I can still pull that off. So you want to go until you can't pull it off. A lot of people seem to make the mistake of, they, they ask me the question and say, how do I smooth out the fibers? And usually the answer is, just keep felting because it's not felted enough. You will get the odd wispy stray aways, 
which you can easily just cut off with some scissors. But this isn't a craft which takes time and patience. It's not something that happens really quickly. If you're anything like me, you'll find it super therapeutic. So we're very almost there, we're ready to move on to the next one. So usually when you're finishing off a project, if you can still see the stab holes, which I'll give you an example of. Okay, so if you can still see the stab holes on your project, all you need to do is very gently stab at a 45 degree angle. Make sure that the needle is going in straight and coming out straight. And just go over that surface. This will tighten up all the fibres and the gentle stabbing will get rid of any stab holes made with the thicker needles. And there we have it, our first project done.